Now then YouTube, I am the Tough Man and welcome back to some Football Manager 2013. Uh, I'm, I'm sorry once again for the wait between episodes. I, When it comes to this type of time of the season, I like to take my time and pick the people that I want to be able to get, especially you know if, if I'm putting in my own input. Um, and because I'm going into the K-League, it's going to be much more difficult than the N-League is. Now, I've been thinking about it and I've thought that I'm going to change my original... Uh, tactic from Might and Magic by this guy there to Spurs 4-5-1 and this kind of tactic um, is a good defensive <clears throat> defensive style strategy and uh, it goes really well with the fact that Ding Dong is a quite a tall guy as well up front you know tall guy you know what they say about tall guys don't you um, that's why he's got his name so it's 191 centimeters and to have him as the uh, lone striker I think I think would be pretty good. Um, maybe even Pat Cute, but I think he's a bit too small for that. The thing is that Ding Dong's got really good heading, so to have that kind of guy uh, spearheading the attack, I don't know. I'm hoping that that's going to work out. So this Spurs 4-5-1, um, let me just have a look over here, because um, you can get the actual strategy, you can download the strategy. Um, if you just type in Google and say, best defensive strategy, for Football Manager 2013, um, this one, footballmanagerstory.com, I think it's pretty much near near the top. You can uh, have a look through, you know, what is what the guy's saying about it, and also there's a little download button as well there that you can you guys can use. So looking down here, it says um, about using uh, the team tactic instructions, using a balanced style of play with a, st a standard strategy. While choosing shorter passing and aggressive approach when it comes to pressing, counter attack is an important side of this tactic, so that is checked as well. There is no playmaker though, and no target man either. Uh, I let the players figure those out by themselves on the pitch, so God knows, God help me, because this one is for Tottenham, and you know they're technically a lot better than Busan TC, uh, so we'll see how it goes from there. But I would think that uh, being a lone striker and having these wingers. Um, would you know that the balls would get whipped in towards this guy and fingers crossed something comes at the end of it so what i'm going to do guys is i'm going to carry on with the season now carry on with the end of season should i say start buying some players in to um complement this tactic and we'll we'll take it from there all right guys first signing of the transfer window for me and this is for me personally my first chinese person or at least the first chinese person that i bought personally is uh li shui now, Li Shuai um, is on astronomical wages. I couldn't do anything about getting these down. I tried and tried and tried, but 1.2 thousand, uh, you know, 1,200 should I say 1.2 thousand? What matter? 1,200 is the price that I had to pay with a yearly wage rise of 5% and the wage going up to 1.3k after playing one international for China. Um, I don't know if that will ever happen, but we'll have to see. Now, Li Shuai is an attacking midfielder, and um, as you can see here, he's got good flair, he's got good passing, good dribbling, good first touch. Definitely going to need them, because that all the play is possibly going to be going through at Li Shuai, so I've got to make sure that he's got the first touch, he's got the dribbling, he's got that pass in there to deal with it. Um, the work rate is pretty high. I would have liked for this teamwork to be a little bit higher, but obviously ugh, there's nothing I can do about it. I would have also liked this determination to be a little bit higher as well. Now, acceleration and pace in this position um, on a defensive style is not really needed. However, when it comes to the counter-attacking style, a player that we're hoping to be able to get, you can see that he does have the pace and acceleration to maybe push on a little bit more. He's also got okay composure, a little bit of more than okay, but he has got four and a half stars on the scouting report that I literally did not so long back, so four and a half stars in any uh, attacking midfielder role, if we go to, um, where is he, where is it, am I just not seeing it here, it's midfielder isn't he, uh. now I believe he is a supporting is he a supporting midfielder? Let me just have a look. No, he's an attacking midfielder. What am I doing? An attacking midfielder. Still the four stars is there. Um, and you can see the attributes needed. And as you can see, uh, dribbling, first touch, passing, all good. Technique, 
Yeah, maybe you could do with it a little bit more, uh, and also the decisions there. But I reckon this teamwork is so un underrated in these kind of ratings. To have teamwork on top of everything else is important, and a concentration is another one that isn't quite picked up. Um, Although it's more used in defensive positions, is concentration, than anywhere else around the pitch, I find that it really doesn't do any harm for a player to have a lot of concentration when they're higher up the pitch, so that they know where to be, they know where to receive a ball, and it just makes them more sharper, let's, let's say. So we've got uh, the first guy, Lee Shuai, who's going to be backing up um, Ding Dong at the front. Well, there's something I wasn't expecting. Um, now we've lost quite a lot of money because Pat QT has been given a contract that states that he matches Busan TC's highest earners. Now, Pat QT is a real good guy to have around because he does score goals. The same with Big Dong. Big Dong scores goals. Pat QT scores goals. Um, we haven't seen the best out of Ding Dong yet. Uh, that's because I believe we've not had the tactics um, that suit his style of play, which is basically a target man. Uh, well, not, ta not so much a target man, but a, a, a guy who uses his head in the box. And I think this type of tactic is definitely one that could be uh, worked upon. So I'll have to figure out exactly what to do here because if I actually go to my uh, boardroom, um, you can see I'm spending 12,000 on wages and I've got 13,200. Uh, although you can see that we did get a little influx of cash, it's still not going to be enough. We are going to be losing money, there's just nothing we can do about it. Uh, you can see my job status has, has gone up there, more than, uh, more than middle, so that's good for me. So we'll have to see about what to do about Park QT because I don't want to be spending that much on two players when they both are in the same position, if you know what I mean. It just doesn't make any sense. We'll see how it works out with uh, with Ding Dong. If Ding Dong isn't working for whatever reason, I'm going to put Park QT in, give him the chance uh, to see you know, who scores me the most goals. Whoever doesn't, I'll probably then uh, get rid of. But we'll see. Okay guys, so I've decided to go and look at my team report to see exactly where we are short. And it seems we are pretty lacking in the goalkeeping area. We do need another goalkeeper just to back up anyway. But we are currently, we've only got Yeo Myung Ryong and that's it. And only, he's only two stars. So maybe looking at a better goalkeeper is definitely something we will have to do. Um, as you can see there, we have an abundance of central defenders. Um, Jung Woo Seung and I think it's Kim Jae Chun are going to be the ones to spearhead, you know, the back, the back four there. Um, the, I don't know what Kangaroo's doing there. I'm sure he was a midfielder. Well, he is uh, as a mid-centre as well. Uh, he plays best as a mid-centre. I really don't need to touch the, the central midfield, to be quite honest. Maybe I could, you know, strengthen up a little bit, maybe get rid of a couple of people, bring a couple of people in. I don't really know because we've got very, very little money to play with. Um, as you can see here, though, we do have a good attack. Ding Dong, Pat Cute, they're both very similar players, so we'll see what's happening with that one. Our right-hand side of the field, though, is pretty diabolical. We've got Little Dong on two stars, Im Hyun Woo on two stars, and of course, on the defensive right here, Choi Ji Hoon is usually the one playing, and he is also on two stars. So we're going to see what to do about that also, but we're running out of money, and um, there's nothing much I can do about it. Uh, other than selling one of my big players, or my big strikers here, maybe Pat Cute, or, uh, well, I don't want to say dit sell Ding Dong, because this 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 type of tactic is just geared up for him, so uh, we'll see what goes, but first, I've got to sort out that second goalkeeper. Alright guys, I'm back with another signing, it's Lee Chi Jun, who's set to sign for, for me, for Busan TC. He's on 550 a week, and this guy fits in quite nicely as a defensive right um, right back and that is because guys the, um, the if I actually go into the highlights here and go to defensive roles it's going to be a fullback it's going to be a supporting fullback and as you can see this guy's got good stamina good acceleration good work rate good teamwork good positioning good concentration slightly less on the anticipation and crossing that I would like however his marking and his tackling is also good so three and a half stars rather than the two stars that was already there um, is a lot better, and I believe that this guy does fit in quite a lot better than uh, than Choi Ji Hoon, who's there at the moment. So, Lee Chi Jun, 
congratulations and uh, welcome to Busan TC alright guys it's another very expensive signing but one that I really couldn't turn down um, Kwon Jung Hyuk is the new goalkeeper at Busan TC now this guy this guy is Ledge now he got offered to me uh, as I was looking at another uh, goalkeeper this guy is three and a half stars the other guy I was looking at was three and a half stars this guy's 36 so a little bit older but you cannot argue with his goalkeeping attributes you really can't and um, if I actually change to goalkeeper and defend there the other guy was nowhere near as good as what this bloke is in these certain attributes so I don't mind uh, picking up an old bloke that can just try to keep me in this league uh, for this season and we'll see where we go from there so the other guy I'm going to say no to because I actually uh, put him on hold where was he? there look Jung Ido and if we actually go to uh, the goalkeeping roles here you can see he's just wasn't he's just not as good even though it's three and a half stars still he's just not as good as the other guy um, which is surprising why it's still three and a half stars if he's not as good but uh, never mind so Kwon Jung Hyuk welcome to Busan TC and welcome to what's probably going to be the final signing unless I go and sell anybody but it's Angelo Maggi now this guy is one of the foreign guys that I'm going to be having in the, in the uh, squad Angelo Maggi comes from well it's quite obvious uh, Italy and the reason why I've got him guys is because of his, his insane aggression now it's got 20 aggression now, this is ridiculous this is absolutely ridiculous he is a striker slash attacking central mid now the reason why I've got him is his aggression usually it comes with good determination and a good rate to you know push on and try and get a result that's what it usually comes with so I mean other than that, you know, if, if I want somebody's legs broken, I'll just bring this guy on. But uh, it's like, I think he's, uh, it, it was like 500 quid a week or something like that. So he was nowhere near as bad as the other guys. Yet he can still finish. 13 finishing is not too bad. Especially when you t take into account the fact, let me just accept that first. Especially when you take into account when you go into here and you look at Ding Dong's finishing and uh, it's 15. It's not that far away. Ding Dong is on 1,000 a week. Uh, Park Yu Te, he is on 13 finishing also, and he's nowhere near enough aggression. <laughs> so we'll see what we we'll see what happens with that bloke. But uh, um, Angelo Maggi, welcome to Busan TC. Right, so taking into account what you guys said um, way way back when I was fiddling about with training, um, the, there was one thing that said when you're doing pre-season, then this is the best type of type of training schedule that you can do. I don't tend to uh, mess around with training too much but since you guys you know were saying about it I thought I would do uh, and I did do last season it seemed to work quite well um, you know back then so I've gone for the same thing but this time in, in pre-season we're concentrating on fitness in, in general training and then concentrating on teamwork when it comes to match training so all these default focuses here these match preparations are all going to be teamwork and all these in blue are going to be the fitness training because we're going to need that going into the next season alright guys so now this is my team report and you can see, you can see because we've got some uh, newer you know better players in in the form of the goalkeeper here and then this uh, right back um, and where was the other bloke? Lee Shu, uh, Lee Shu Ai there. Um, you can see that it really does emphasize the fact I do need a right mid. There is no thing about it. This, these guys' qualities are absolutely just dropping in comparison. And that's, of course, because I, I think I was saying this in the, in the first season um, that I was around, when I was buying better players and then suddenly they weren't better. Uh, it, basically, it takes, you know, you get like three and a half, four star players all the time. It's not going to stay like that. They are going to be like average amongst each other. Uh, the stars fall as the average stars goes up, if you know what I mean. Uh, it makes sense to me anyway. Um, so as you can see, we've got good central midfield. Uh, we've got the good central attacking mid. And we've also got a good striker in the form of both Ding Dong and Park Cute. Even Angelo Magilo, three and a half stars. You can't argue with that for 500 quid. Um, the only thing is the wings, guys. The wings are, you know, pretty, pretty horrendous. At the moment, we've got Kim Sung Yong, who did a really good job last season. I'm just hoping that he can do the same job this season. 
uh, but this right hand side is going to be a problem. Now it's also transpired that this left hand side of defence is also going to be a problem now as well. So we've gone from being uh, under strength on the right hand side to being both under, stre under strength on the right mid side and the entire left mid side. But I'm hoping that Kim Sung Yong will still be okay. Two and a half sides, not too bad. And he did do a good job last season, so let's give him the chance. Um, other than that, I can't do anything else at the moment because I just simply do not have any any money left at all. I think I've gone over uh, my budget. Uh, as always, I always go over my budget and I didn't mean to actually press... Uh, there it is. Uh, so you can see 14,000, 14,500 from 13,000 wage. Uh, you can see I've done a little bit of fiddling there whilst, you know, when you, when you actually buy players two or three players at one time, it doesn't take into account the, you know, the fact that you're probably going over wage budget by getting all three of them. So you can get away with it when you're actually offering them contracts. But anyway, guys, um, now we can go and have a look at the actual squad and the actual team that's going to be going out on that first day of, of, uh, of training. Alright, so I've just done an ask to pick, but I'm not entirely sure what the hell is going on here because he's got Lee Shuai on the bench in favour of Angelo Maggi and he's also got Song Soon Bo on the team uh, in favour of the new guy, where is he? Lee Chi Jun there, which I'm really surprised at. I don't think that should have happened. Maybe, um, hmm, Jung Woo Seung and Kim, Kim Bong, Kim Bong Kyum? Who the hell is he? Has he always been there? <laughs> I can't remember. I certainly can't remember buying anybody. Let me just have another look at this team, uh, team report here and see what's going on. So basically, who should be in central defense, uh, central defense here is, um, Jung Woo Seung, and Kim Jae Chun. Jung Woo Seung, who's there, and Kim Jae Chun, who's there. It's probably going on in condition, maybe? I don't know, because these guys have got pretty crap condition anyway. I'll tell you what we'll do. We'll leave it until the actual day of what the first match is going to be. Um, and we'll take it from there. I mean, I'm looking forward to seeing what Angelo Maggi does anyway in his first game. It's probably going to destroy every bugger, but we'll see what happens. Right guys, um, this trialists match has come up with Team 1 and Team 2 and this is what I'm talking about, this is what confuses me because it says here, Huang Dong Jin believes that you should sign Kim Min Chul, uh, Kim Min Chul, whatever the price but look at this guy, why should I sign him whatever the price? Yeah, he's got 14 finishing but why should I sign him whatever the price? I don't understand. Now if we actually go to approach to sign this scouting report is slightly a little bit off. Because this guy is like 19 years old, if you actually go to his current ability, which is three and a half stars, his potential ability is five stars. But by the time we get to his potential ability, we're probably going to have faster passed him anyway. Now, the thing is, I don't understand where they've got this rating from. Because this guy, even the three and a half stars, is too much. It's really, really too much. If we go to... Um, what do they call it? Is it an advanced forward? Let me have just a gander on here. Yeah, it is an advanced forward. Okay. So, we go to attacking roles here. We go to advanced forward and attack. You can see that he is indeed current, current rating of three and a half stars. How the hell have they worked that out? I don't understand. There is nothing there that tells me he's worth three and a half stars. Nothing. All he's, he's good at finishing, you know, he's brilliant at finishing, brilliant at pace, but everything else is mediocre. It, well, that's at best. Got dribbling which is slightly over average, or medium, and an anticipation which is on medium, and then everything else is lower than average. And that's just I, where the three and a half stars has come from. I have no clue where this five star report for the future has come from. I don't know, maybe this guy is the next bloody Ronaldo or something. I highly doubt it, but you never know. It's slightly tempting, but as you can see at the moment, I'd have to actually put him in the first team for him to get any chance, and he won't be in the first team, so... Um, the only other thing is if it's a hot prospect, but even then the maximum wage is 650. I wouldn't want that on for a start. I'd want to knock these down a couple of notches. I'm 
But he's not going to get any bloody. He's not going to get a thing anytime soon, is he? I don't know, guys. There's something about this that's just not quite right. I'm wondering why they're putting this much potential ability on somebody that's got little amount. Of, maybe he's going to just blow up in his in his stats and his skills. I don't know. I'm going to finalise this deal because I'm interested to see what's going to happen. I'm interested to see what's going to happen. And then, of course, we've got the game against Kim High, which is coming up in this episode, guys. I, you know, I'm not going to. I'm not going to deny you another chance at uh, at a match. I said last time that I would give you a match, and uh, today is going to be a match. So we're going to keep the current dimensions, I believe. No reason why not to. And then, of course, we've got the friendly. Oh, no, actually, I've, I think we might be skipping past these, are we not? Because I told the assistant manager to keep his eyeball on it. Did I not? Which is entirely possible. So you will see the result. And uh, what I will then do is simulate the rest of the friendlies and go through the rest of pre-season. Um, and we lost. Uh, we lost 2-0, so we didn't even get anything for that. Jesus. Lee Jun Yop. It looks like we've put in some of the second team players out anyway, by the looks of that. So, anyway, what I'm going to do is go to the fixtures list so you can see what's coming up. We've got another couple of friendlies and then the league stats against no other than Dejon. So we'll see what happens with that one. So join me back for the match against Dejon. Well, I'm just plunging this club deeper into debt because now I've bought F Falata, who is another foreign player, so I've got to watch what I'm doing now because I think I'm pretty much on three foreign players. He is a Saudi player. Uh, Falata here, if we have, actually have a look at Fahad Falata, he is a defensive left guy, um, and you can, if we go into here, fall back and support, you can see he's only two stars, but he's worth um, he's, he's worth his weight because of his st his stamina, his acceleration, um, his work rate, and his, it maybe a little bit more on concentration is needed. It's not so much marking that's going to be a problem; it's the crossing and the speed of this guy. So hopefully. He's a lot better th than what them two stars say. Um, I did a scout report on him. He said to me when I did this uh, scout report, where is it? Falata report there. Um, would be regarded as an important player. So I'm a little bit disappointed at only seeing the fact that he is two stars. But maybe he's a lot better than that. I don't know. We'll see. In fact, guys, looking at the fact that Lee Sang Wu. Um, hmm. Yeah, Lee Sang Woo and Im Hyun Woo are both two stars. Uh, Lee Sang Woo is, as you can see, that is Lee Sang Woo. Um, he's still pretty fast. You know, he's not got the stamina that the other guy has, but he has got a lot better crossing. Uh, I really don't see a need for buying the other guy, uh, having you know looked into it. So what I'm going to do is go to my things there and just cancel the uh, cancel the thing. There's no sense p paying 650 quid a week when I've got two people who are very similar in that p position. I thought when it said that it was regarded as an important player that he, that he was going to be good but unfortunately the two stars just uh, isn't good enough. It needs to be a lot better than that. It needs to be a lot better. So I've decided not to. Alright, we're on the squad selection um, well, squad registration, should I say, not squad selection screen, what am I about? Now, looking through this, we do have two foreign players, Lee Shuai and Angelo Maggi. Now, that's all well and good. We, we, we can have a maximum of four foreign players. Three of them can be non-Asian. One of them can be Asian. So, we've got one of them that's already Asian, which is Lee Shuai. So, in the future, I could get three non-Asian players players, non-Asian foreign players, um, and we'll see where we go from from here, whether or not we're going to do that. But at the minute, of course, we are horrendous with, uh, with money, so fingers crossed we can really stay up this season and then push on to uh, maybe get some more money in, get some more fans behind us, and, uh, you know, get them, get them season tickets sold and 
I don't know what's going to be happening with the uh, with the striker. We've only got one striker place, yet we've got four people who all fill that spot. And uh, Kim Min Chul is the young guy, of course. I want to uh, you know try him out at some stage. But it's going to be Ding Dong that's going to be the first guy in there, and then behind him will probably be either Park Yu or Big Dong. Now Big Dong obviously scored a lot of goals last season as well. So um, th the thing is, I don't think he will be able to cut it in um, this league. I seriously don't. Pat QT on the other hand, I think he's got just a little bit more about him so that maybe we can do some damage with Pat QT. But it's Big Dong who I rest my hopes on for, for getting me those goals and we'll see what happens coming up in the future. 2000 to 1. <laughs> well, I enjoy the, the I, I will enjoy those odds. Well, here we are, guys. The first sign that maybe a change is on the cards for us. Um, well, actually, no, because they got relegated last season. But it is a nil-nil draw. And really, with with the tactics that we have at the moment, there shouldn't be um, many goals scored against us. That's in theory, and we'll see what goes on. Oh, what? You're kidding me. He's going to be out for six to seven weeks now, Angelo Maggi, so that's going to be interesting. I'll leave him to the physio, but at least we do have Li Xuan as backup. Well, guys, how's that for a sign-in? 20-year-old Goyo Vara from uh, is Spanish. Now, the thing is, he is on 1.3 thousand a week. And Busan TC are probably looking at me and thinking, why can't you cut the wage bill rather than adding to it, you son of a fucking biatch, and doing it all in Korean so I don't understand a word that they're saying. But the thing is, that um, this guy, this guy is exciting. Now, this guy is exciting because this guy has real good pace. Real, real good pace. Good work rate, good teamwork, good determination. But this guy is a ledge because he gives me this long throw ability that I've been waiting for for a long, long time from one of my people. Now, the thing is, he is only 20 years old. He will get better as well. But the, th the thing is that there is so much resale value in this guy. There is so much resale value in this guy. If I can manage to hold on to, uh, hold on to him for a couple of seasons, there is so much resale value. I can't understand how the hell I've managed to get him especially for only 1.3 thousand. It's probably more because he's a defense, uh, he's a defender rather than anything else. But if we actually go, let me see, and I haven't done this properly because I, w I couldn't afford to scout this guy. Um, so let's have a look, and he's a supporting thing. So he's three and a half stars currently to be a, um, a left back, which is, what, two and a half, st well, one and a half stars more than what's already there at the moment. So I'm really excited to get this guy on the pitch. And, of course, he fills up one of the uh, foreign slots as well. So we'll see what happens. Okay, the final friendly has been played, and it's a 2-1 win. Um, the, the thing is, guys, that I'm not too bothered about these results. What I'm really, really looking forward to is, um, or what, really what I'm looking forward for, is this squad familiarity with the tactic to go up. Now, it's already gone up quite a sizable chunk there, but it will go up more and more as we get in there. And um, using that teamwork ability uh, to tell them to, obviously you know, concentrate on teamwork when we're doing training. Um, it will help them out with that as well. Uh, oh, what's going on here? I'm going to have to, right, assistance in controlling my match training there. I'm going to have to sort that out. Uh, where's my match training? Hmm. I can't seem to see it. Maybe I'm missing something. Allow rest after the match. I don't want my assist assistant to be in control of that. How do I sort this out? Hmm. Ask assistant to assign. It's probably the best thing actually, uh, because he'll get the best people for the job. Um, I can't remember. My mind is just gone. Maybe it's in here. Uh, I don't know. I'll find it and uh, I'll be back. 
Alright, so I've been looking around and I can't see where it is. I know what uh, what's happened. When you actually come into the squad right at the start, it says, you know, you're going to give your assistant manager these jobs to do. Uh, although I've got no idea how to get back to them. Um, I've gone to res uh, staff responsibilities here, but there's just... There's nothing there that says about changing the responsibilities of the... Oh, there he is. <laughs> so there you go. Um, right, what I would like to do... No, it's my personal assistant, not my assistant manager. Oh, there we are. Runs match training. There we are. Good stuff. So that's taken off now, thank God for that. And um, let's go to Busan TC. Busan TC. And uh, let's go to training. And we can see match training is now back in my hands, so that's good. That is good stuff. Fitness, teamwork, nice. And we'll see you for the start of the season against Dijon in six days. Here we are guys, it is the start of the season, Busan TC versus Dejon KHMP, no it's not Dejon KHMP, that's the other guys, uh, Dejon, just just Dejon, uh, Balak, yeah you've already asked me for him once, and I can't afford any more people, I'm going to try and stop. So, match preview there, we have played each other three times apparently, and we have lost all three, so there you go. <laughs> we need to go to team selection as well. And uh, what we're going to do is the usual, ask to pick. Uh, this time, we are then going to change people around because I'm not entirely happy the fact that Li Sang Wu is in there instead of uh, Li Chi Jun, who's meant to be there. So let me go into team report once more. And uh, you can see there, Li Chi Jun is definitely the better, better defensive right guy. Uh, the two central defenders should be Jung Wu Seung and Kim Jae Chun. And the two midfielders, Kangaroo and Little Dong, should be there. Mid left, right, let's have a look. Lee Shuai is there. Pat QT is the guy who's going to be going in there. I don't think so. Let's put him in. Kangaroo is suspended, so he's out for this match. That's a bit. That's a bit shit. So we've got Sock and Little Dong, Kim Sung Yong, Park Seung Min shouldn't be there at the minute, I don't think. Where's the other guy that I bought? What was his name? Oh no, I didn't actually buy a midfielder, did I? Mid right. Hmm. That's a shame. Never mind. Um, Lee Sang Woo, of course, Goya Vara there. But uh, Lee Sang Woo should not be there, it should be Choi Ji Hoon. Lee Sang Woo on the bench. Not Choi Ji-hoon, uh, Li Chi-joon, they both sound very similar. Um, looking through, I think that's about it. Park Young min I would have liked to have had a better right mid. I honestly would have, but what can you do about it? Little Dong, Sock, I think everybody's there now. And then we can carry on and submit this team. Have we got everybody off the bench that I want off the bench? I think so. Yes, we have. Squad number must be given to Goya Vara. We'll also number him and carry on. So here we are, guys. It's the first time that um, we have played in the K League or in any kind of upper league of um, this playthrough. So <laughs> this is going to be interesting. And probably going to be a very long and drawn out process. Okay, so let's start the match. Let's get on with it. So, let me check that I've got the right things on here. Extended, yeah, that seems about right to me. Now, what should happen, guys, is we should probably... Uh, we should have at least eight people behind the ball at all times, all defending um, when we don't have the ball. It's going to make it very difficult for the guys to get behind us, or at least that is the point. We'll see what happens, whether or not that comes to light. But it's all about just surviving if we can. And Oris has just scored for Dejon. I could swear that was a little bit offside. Or it looked offside a little bit for me. But I can't believe that's got past the goalkeeper. Let alone my defender not managing to close him down. Oh, it was just on. I can't believe that got past the goalkeeper. That should have been saved. But what can you do? 
Alonso, here is Lee Chi Jun. Pax Young Min, up the wing towards Big Dong, who's for some reason on the wing when he shouldn't be. Lee Shuai, taking people on. Still Lee Shuai. There's space on the wing. Look at the wing over there, look. Look at this guy over there. And uh, Pax Young Min. Lee Chi Jun. Lee Shuai. Good, good play here. Little Dong. Goes for a shot. What the hell was that? I don't know what that was, but Little Dong seemed to think it was a good idea. Li Shuai again. It's Kim Sung Yong. The Spanish man Vara. Good ball up the wing. Kim Sung Yong. Vara. Sock. Vara again. Come on now, let's get it forward. Good ball to Kim Sung Yong. Little Dong. Goes for an absolute belt. That wasn't far away, actually. But Little Dong needs to stop belting it and uh, actually pass the ball. Let me shout some instructions here to uh, work the ball into the box. I should have pumped the ball into... Oh, my God. Well, it's definitely uh, going to change that. So, from the corner, Oris again climbing high, whacking that ball into the back of the net with his noggin. Oh, it seemed to be like that when I was just changing the things. Yeah, it was. And again, the goalkeeper just never left the ground. Maybe this is teething problems, guys, as you first start a season. I don't know. We'll soon find out. Sock. Lee Chi Jun. There's little Dong. Li Shuai. Big Dong with an absolute belting shot. Ricocheted off the off the uh, post. Nothing you can do about that. Just coming up to half time now. Kim Sung Yong's going to whip this ball in. Big Dong is there, but it doesn't drop for him. And suddenly they're on the counter attack. Huang Jin Sang. Just doing his all ends up in. And Oris again. He's looking for his hat trick, is Oris. But he's giving it to uh, Lee Woong Hee. And that's three for Dejon. Before half time has even come. Han Kyung In scores the third. And we're sinking without trace, as I like to put it. The two centre backs there, just not. It's. It's. Beggar's belief. Half time, guys, and Oris really has, you know, done us all ends up here. Um. It's the two centre-backs that just aren't performing, as well as the goalkeeper. The goalkeeper should have done so much better. Um, Kim bong Kyum and Ju, Wun, Ju, Wun, Ju Jung Woo Seung. Um, Kim Jae Chun. Let's get him on, I think. He's the one that should have been on in the first place, to be honest, I think. Uh, and Lee Sang Woo. I'm sure they they are my actual centre-backs. I should have looked at that. That's my fault. So, yeah, that is purely my fault. Both the centre-backs are off. I've only got one substitute left. And we start the second half. 3-0 down. Can we come back into this? I very much doubt it, but you never know. It's built for counter-attacking, so... I may as well stick it on counter and hope for the best. Playing nice fluid passing player, Dejon. And it's hard to uh, play against a team like that. Vara picks up the ball and suddenly the counter attack could be on. Big Dong. Kim Sung Yong. And they're both getting in each of us way. Why is Big Dong even there? I don't know. He should be up forward. And there's Big Dong. He's got the ball at least. <sighs> Bloody hell. There's just no progress there. Sock. Ball of the tops was Little Dong takes it down nicely. Big, no, it's Kim Sung Yong who goes for the shot and it's well cut out and cleared towards Oris. It looked like he won the ball to me from there, but still, apparently it's a free kick. 55th minute just gone.
Marshall John. Still Marshall John with the ball. Goes for the shot. Hooks wide. It's not troubling the goalkeeper. Still 3 0. 55th minute still. Lee Woon He. We are now on the counter attacking style of play. So we should have at least eight men behind the ball. Waiting. It's Han Kyun In. Nearly gives the ball away there. Just walking into trouble. How the hell did that manage to happen? Oris has got his hat trick, but how the hell did that manage to happen? It looked like pure bullshit to me, but that's always the case. We'll look on the replay just how the hell that managed to. Huang Jin Sang there seemed to, and then it. I don't know if if it was Han Q In who got that first. The goalkeeper comes rushing out, doing a Fabian Bartes. I don't know what he's playing out there, but he got nowhere near the ball. And just looked like an idiot. So four 0 and at the moment the goalkeeper's not showing his worth. Big dong. Li Shuai. Li Shuai. It's four one. Busan TC pulled one back. Li Shuai. Lovely ball. Lovely goal actually. I've got to say he uh, did a pretty much a solo effort to get that in the back of the net. Ding dong just seems to be going everywhere. I don't know what's wrong with him. He just does not seem to be in the position he's meant to be in. What's he doing there? Why is he drag? Why is he out there? And Li Shuai just belts that into the back of the net, leaving the keeper absolutely rooted to the spot. Four one. Oris again. And I'm beginning to hate that name. Li Shuai takes it down again. Packs Young Min. Oh. Two footy challenge apparently. Is that gonna be a red? It is a straight red card. Violent conduct for Li Ji Nam. And he's been sent off to the stands. And now we've got a uh, an advantage somewhat. In the fact that we've got one more person on the pitch. Can we work that? And have a surprise comeback. That would be insane if we could. First game of the season. Little Dong. Passing has to be done. Li Shuai. Goes for the shot again. Li Shuai. That's not far away. It could easily be 4-3 guys. Look, Big Dong when he smacked that and hit the post. And that, that ball there. Kim Dong Suk, Kim Young Te, good ball through, slid wide though from the attacking player, and uh, those those two at the back there, four two three zero, they're going with zero attackers, and there's literally ten minutes left to get three goals. They've got a corner, and it's headed out. Here's Big Dong now. Where are you going? That's the wrong goal, you dickhead. <laughs> got counter attacking on. And he decides to run towards my goal. Parks Young Min. Lee Shuai. Little Dong. Ball away to Lee Chi Jun. Ding Dong. Tight area. Oh, should have done better. Whip that across goal, I would think. Lee Shuai. Just getting caught up there. Giving the ball away. In the last 10 minutes, with three goals behind, I very much doubt that we're going to get anywhere near this at all. But it's a learning curve, guys. It's definitely a learning curve, and it's making me think that uh, this. I'm hoping that as the familiarity with this uh, with this tactic goes up, that we are going to get better at it. However, we are sorely lacking in key areas such as the central centre defence. But since you know the other two guys have been on, they've only particularly let, let in one goal and that's purely mostly for the fact of the goalkeeper rushing out like some sort of idiot um, if he'd have stayed on his line maybe maybe but that's uh, another central defensive error there and it's, it's beginning to be a, a recurring thing in this match hopefully it's just the one match and we'll uh, we'll keep it in mind going forwards 90th minute, nearly finished now. Ding dong. Ball to Kim Sung Yong. Can we get a late goal? Just as a consolation. 
Give him some young. What's he doing walking with it? And then gives it away. Wonderful. So anyway guys, that is it. 4-1 loss in the first game of the season. Not particularly brilliant at all. And I think, you know, that, that simply put was not good enough. We should have won that match. I don't know if we should have won that match really. I think that they played awesome. It was just the fact that our two central defenders um, just didn't do the job in the first half and that really destroyed it for the second half. So until next time guys, I've been the soft man as always. Stay safe.